welcome to Gardenville.tv. Well, we're filming today and wow, we're looking at the most beautiful spit of... Spit of Sporum. I did my best. <laughs> okay, tell us about it. Spit of Sporum Tenufolium Tom Thumb. Now, this has a really deep, almost black leaf. It's a really dark, dark red leaf. And what's coming up here is some new goats for them in the spring, which is bright green, so it almost looks like it's flowering. These will then age back to the colour of this through the summer. Uh, Pittosporum, they like a sunny position, well-drained soil. And the thing about them is you can clip them as hard as you like. They've been used as hedges. Uh, you could actually grow this in a tub and keep it in a sort of sphere, in, in a ball shape or cone shape just for that formal thing on your balcony or something. Um, and really, they don't like a temperature to below minus five degrees in the winter. So the winter before last, a lot of them were lost. But if it's in a sheltered position, they'll be fine. Um, now, it's, is it evergreen? It's evergreen or ever, ever red in this case, yes, because there are silver variegated ones. There's quite a range of fitness forums. But this is a good one for a small garden because it's smaller growing than a lot of them. So as I say, they do have the advantage in that you can hard trim them. Is there anything about, could you cut the foliage and bring it in oh, doors you could for indeed, they're excellent for flower arranging. Yeah, they make excellent um, greenery uh, for when you're flower arranging, yes. Right. And the cutting back, Susan, and creating a hedge out of it, is that easily done? Easily done, just a hand shear for so a hedge trimmer. Tough old cookies. They're pretty tough cookies and they will some of them will seed themselves as well. Okay, well if you'd like to share anything with us at gardenville.tv, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Until the next time.